make it better, yes it would Only if we tried Let's make it better, yes, it will. Only if we try, you got to give a little love, a little hope. Make the world a little brighter. Try a little more, harder than before. What we'll do together, well, I said, whoa. Come on and make it better, yes, it will. Oh, oh, oh. Only if we try. Great song by Ziggy Marley, Give a Little Love. So, yes, indeed, folks, we are getting ready for the weekend. Beautiful Shabbat coming up. The Torah portion of Vayetze, Vayetze Yaakov, Mi Be'er Shava. Yaakov goes out from Be'er Shava, Vayela Haran, he comes to Haran. And it's an amazing part, it's full of all sorts of, like, all sorts of goodies. Um, yeah, like, he's working for Lavan. he's going to marry uh, Rachel, instead Lavan substitutes the older, his older daughter Leah, he ends up marrying both, they have, uh, um, uh, he has lots of kids in this week's Parsha, and then he prepares to leave, Lavan tricks him many, many times, but I want to speak about there was a ladder, Sulam Mutsav Arza, which was like firmly planted in the ground, Varosha Magia Shumaima, and it, uh, the top of the ladder goes way up into the heavens. So Jacob, uh, on his way to Haran, goes to sleep for the night. He puts stones around his head as if to say, I'm just, I just need to protect my head because I'm going into this negative kind of environment. So I got to keep my head, my head straight. I got to keep my head together here. Otherwise, he would have put the stones around his whole body, right? It says, by Yasem Shosav. And he put them around his head. Okay? Obviously, if you're trying to protect yourself from wild animals, you better do a better job than that. So it, clearly something more here than meets the eye. But I want to talk to you about the ladder because he, in his dream, he has his ladder and he sees angels going up and down. And he realized some of the angels were escorting him out, right, from Beersheba, and some were, came to meet him to bring him into Haran, uh, which is fascinating in and of itself. But I want to talk to you about a ladder. And I remember years ago, years ago, in my, when I first took a class with a Chabad rabbi in Buffalo, New York, it was my last semester at the University of Buffalo. And the course was called Jewish Mysticism. So I figured it's going to be an easy three, uh, three credits, and it turned out it was a game changer. That course was a game changer. I started getting more interested. I fought the Rabbi Garari and Rabbi Greenberg tooth and nail. It seemed like as much as I fought, I couldn't really land a punch, but I tried, I tried. They were too, uh, too good, too smart, too funny. And uh, I remember one time Rabbi Garari gave an example of a ladder. And he said, you have somebody on step two of a ladder and somebody on step 100. Who is higher? So obviously, you know, when a rabbi asks you that kind of question, it's a trick question, right? Something, something here going on fishy. So I raised my hand, of course, and I said in class, well, obviously, if you're asking the question, it's got to be the guy on step 100. So at which point Rabbi Garari continued to question, and he said, Why? At that point, I responded and said, I had no idea. How about you give us the answer? So he said, it depends which direction you're going. If the guy in step two is going up, the guy in step 100 is coming down, then there's this metaphysical shift in the ladder, and the guy in step two is actually higher because his attitude is one of positivity. This person's attitude is one of growth of change, and that's what this Torah portion is all about. Uh, you know, the, uh, it goes way back, but they say that one of the early uh, Greek philosophers well over 2,000 years ago said, the only thing that's constant in this world is change. And it really does apply because that's really what the whole Torah is all about, 
and really what the Hasidic, the Hasidic philosophy is to get us to change inside, inside our heads, inside our hearts, inside our souls, to change for the better. Every day we got to change for the better. And this ladder was, Jacob was seen, this is my ladder of growth. This is how I will be able to grow continually. And that's what life is all about. Sometimes we get comfortable. We're like, oh, I'm, real, I'm fine with who I am. You know, when somebody says, how are you doing? They say, I'm good, I'm good. Okay, really. I'm happy that you're good, but could you be better, right? And I also heard uh, some of you guys who are from North Miami Beach, from Beit Menachem, Rabbi Marlowe, he took it even a step further. It's not even what direction they're going, but Rabbi Marlowe commented, it's also what direction you're facing, so and it had to do with the, um, I think it was the Haftorah we read, where the Navi was facing on Yom Kippur. The Navi was in Israel, but he was facing towards the outside of Israel. So he was facing away from Israel, even though he was still in Israel proper. So in other words, what that means is, let's say, let's go back to the ladder analogy, because this is the Torah portion that talks about this great ladder, the Sulam, right? So... If the guy in step 100 is just looking that way, in other words, that's where the person's focus is. That's where the person's ruts on, his desire or her desire is. And the person in step two is looking up. That's where I want to go. I want to get to the next step. I got to make the climb. So really, again, you have that paradigm shift. And so it really has nothing to do with quantity. It's not like um, my... uh, uh, my buddy Gershon Wachtel, uh, he coined the term, I guess, I think he heard it from someone, but it was called the frumometer. And instead of thermometer, the frumometer. How from is this person? How long are the tefillin straps? How big are the tefillin? Um, how long are the payas? How long is the beard? And so it becomes sort of an exercise in quantity. And that's the approach as opposed to quality. And it's got to come from within. So that's what this ladder is all about. So, and that's what we're singing this song. A song about Ziggy Marley, Give a Little Love. Living in this crazy world, so caught up in the confusion, nothing making sense. Oh, you and me, maybe we can find a way. Got to be solution, yeah. Let's put our hands together and Here's what we do. We got to give a little love, have a little hope, make the world a little brighter, try a little more, harder than before. What we'll do together, well, I said, whoa, let's make it better, yeah, I said, whoa, only if we try. Y'all keep on trying, keep on climbing. That's the thing. You know, at Camp Masora, we have uh, a help run the ropes course there. And one of the expressions that we use a lot is keep on climbing. So keep on climbing that ladder, everybody. Have a great Shabbat and a wonderful weekend. I want to wish you all peace, love, happiness, and soul. Let your soul shine. Yeah.